All right, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to flash a new ROM to the Pippo Max M9. What you're going to do is you're going to first you're going to start off is you're going to need to plug your USB cable into the the top not the host but the USB port. There's a host port and then there's a USB port. Then you're going to need to plug it into your USB. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need a pen of some sort. Um, and you're going to actually need to puncture the back because mine came with a big plastic. Um, I'm not sure everyone's will. However, you're, there's the, the reset position. Okay, and here's your ESC or back button. What you're going to do is you're going to hold this down and hold the ESC button at the same time. However, the first you're going to, before you do that, you're going to come over here to your computer. Okay, you're going to need to get your batch tool 1.6 and you're going to have to run your RK batch tool EXE. Okay, so what we'll do is we ran that. Okay, so you're going to run that, and as you can see, is nothing's come up yet because uh, we haven't started on the computer portion yet. And what you'll do is see where it says the FW path. You're going to search your computer for obviously that file, right? Okay, so I have the clean file here. You can load that up. Okay, it's going to give you the version 4.1.0. Give you the boot version of 1.04. Okay, and then it's going to give you the support chip RK31, which is used is a RK3188. Okay, and as you can see right now, uh, no connected devices are present at the moment okay and what we're going to do is we're going to press the ESC button as well as the back button at the same time now that you've done that you will see here that the connected devices is green if it is any other color than that like pink or anything like that you have not done that right okay and simply you are going to Restore. You're not going to upgrade. You're going to restore because the restore device is what you want to do. Okay, I'm not going to do it because I'm perfectly set up. I'm going to hit restore. It will take a few, about a minute to two minutes. Okay, from there, you will it'll go through the functions. It will say successful. It will not say if it says fail or anything, you're going to have to repeat the process. But what you're going to do is when it says successful, your device will reboot. Your, re your device will reboot into recovery mode. Once it's in recovery mode, it will f it will flash everything because now it's in, it, it's created a restore point. It'll, it'll flash it, it'll restart, and it'll start the very first time for your new operating system with the clean now I'm going to show you that um, in your devices setting you will see the rock USB device however not all computers will detect this immediately so it may detect it as unknown device and it will not load the drivers okay within the file You'll see rock USB drivers. Okay, you pick your platform. Are you an 86, 32 bit, or are you a 64 bit? I'm a 64 bit. I happen to use Windows 8. We do have Vista, which is also the same as XP, Windows 7, and Windows 8 drivers. Okay, here you'll find the drivers. Okay, you may have to go in here, right click on your unknown device and load your 
drivers in manually. I had to do that. Um, I tried over and over, could not get that done. Okay, and as we stated, that's it. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is do exactly as I said. Sorry, it's late night. I'm doing this at 2.30 in the morning because somebody asked me for instructions how to do it because he just got his tablet. That's quick and dirty. Thank you.